Okay, Elmo in Oakland, California, ding. Round two, it's time for me to cut sunglass lenses for your Ray-Ban 2132 new Wayfair. All right, enough of that, enough of that. I'm gonna take out your lenses that I just cut, the clear lenses. I'm gonna take them out and throw them away because, you know, you didn't pay for them, you're expecting to get them. And here's the cool thing, because I just traced one, I don't have to trace your frame this time. I just pull it up on the computer and if I was smart I would have seen how small I took the lenses down but I'm not that smart so your pupillary distance is 65 and let me move the camera so everyone can watch what I'm doing 65 these are polycarbonate lenses being cut for a xyle frame and I'm gonna take it down a little bit of the way Hopefully not too risky. Let me take it back up. I can always cut more off. I can never add it back on. So, I have a hunch that this is the right lens. I don't know why. I just have a hunch that this is the left. I could be wrong. Let's see. Let's spin the axis wheel back to 20 on my Marco, my dusty Marco 101 lensometer. Power drum will we'll put at 250. Rotate the lens until the sphere power comes in clearly. That is 20, isn't it? Yes, that is 20. Check your astigmatism correction. Someone needs to check that. Because your astigmatism is out of control. So I'm going to put three really weak dots on there. In fact, let's put some more ink in the lensometer. How about just water? I think there's enough ink. It's just getting worn out. Okay. Three ink bottles. Do you think that's enough? And I still can't get it to keep any in there. Okay. Let's get everything lined up again one more time and put three dots on the lenses. Hey, I can finally see them now. That's the center one. Let's do the same thing for the left. Spin the axis wheel to 175. This just tells me where to orient your lens where it comes out perfect or close enough to perfect that you can't tell. And you won't tell. If these are made just terribly and horribly wrong, you won't tell anyone and ruin my reputation on the internet, would you? No, of course not. Okay, three more dots there. So, I got to attach one of these to your lens. Be cool if I could put it up there, but that ain't going to happen. So, I'm going to put that in there. Get me a little sticker. The black side is the sticky side. Stick that on the block. Pull the tape away to make that side sticky. And that goes your right lens. Let me do the same for the left. And same thing. Pull away the tape. and get this lined up and we are good to go now these are g15 lenses here is your original lens i got it out of the way while i was working how's that close for comfort so that is hopefully you can see all that that i'm not missing anything those are your lenses now the machine is telling me i need a 66 millimeter lens let's see the width of this one 68 millimeters got it covered by one millimeter on each side so i'm going to take your right lens put it into the Chuck or as I like to say the Charles because I don't know this machine well enough to call it Chuck so the calipers are going to come down it's going to trace the shape of the right lens to make sure it's large enough to fit into the frame and it is always starting with the concave rear surface and then moving over to the convex front surface the cutting wheel is down here on the bottom left that's the lighter color wheel that's going to act like a heavy grit sandpaper to grind away your unbreakable bulletproof lens material. This wheel in the center is going to put the bevel on there. This wheel on the right is what polishes, but I will not be polishing. I dropped my PD stick in my bucket of water. Look at that. Does it float? Nah, it doesn't really float. Let me dry this off. That's my good PD stick too. Okay. See, that's why I can't have good PD sticks. No, I'm not a Georgetown Hoya fan. There's a lab called Hoya. And for years, they had a little pen clip, just like for the pen, to stick onto the pocket. But they broke off and they quit making them. Now I just have to use these where it just flaps around loosely in my pocket. All right, that's my pet peeve. Next pair of glasses I cut for you, I'll have another pet peeve. So your lenses 
are made out of polycarb. They are virtually unbreakable and bulletproof up to 22 caliber, which is important since you live in Oakland. They also have both UVA and UVB protection built into them. If you don't believe me, these are unbreakable. Pop your lenses out and drive over them with your car, then hit them with a hammer, then hit them with a sledgehammer, then throw them off a roof onto the asphalt, find the tallest building you can find, and drop them onto the concrete and see if they break. Look, I'll even do it for you. Watch this. Actually, I got a rubber mat. That ain't gonna do much. Let me use my mirror. Bow, bow, bow. Did I tell you how strong these were? So if you notice, your lens is still completely flat at the edges. Now it's moving over to have the bevel put on there, which is a knife-like edge. A very dull knife, just like me, but knife-like nonetheless. Although your lens might be sharp enough where you can cut a wet piece of tissue. Although I remind everyone, you have to soak the tissue in a bucket of water overnight and then press really hard with your lens. And you might be able to cut through the wet tissue. Here's the water jets, which means we have less than 20 seconds of cutting to go. And, I need to make a, a note, my trusty red Sharpie. These are the Ray-Ban 2132 size 55 G15 lenses. I'm gonna put one in each little protective sleeve and then put the whole package inside your case when I ship. Uh, I will put the clear lenses in unless I hear from you, but you know how to pop them in and out since you're getting one frame. And the reason why they do this is every day I take my lenses out of one color and pop them into another depending on what color shirt. Today I'm wearing the color 6012 because it matches my brown and tan shirt. And of course I'm wearing the brown slacks to match all that. Gots to be matching. The ladies love it. Honey, you didn't hear that. They don't mean nothing to me. All right, so I'm gonna dry your lens off. Back to the handstone for the safety bevel. I'm smoothing out any rough edges that are left over from the cutting cycle. I'm going to use my thumbnail to scrape all them off. And once they're on the counter, once they're on the counter, I collect them neatly into one pile. And guess what's going to happen next? No, you're wrong. I'm going to take my shot back. Oh, you didn't see that one coming, Elmo. You've watched all my videos, but you've never seen me do that. So, I'm going to take your right lens. Tuck it in the outside corner, push down at the nose. It don't want to go, so I'm going to take another quarter millimeter off of your lens until it fits in there easily. Hit the retouch button. That's what the R stands for. And then I'm going to take another cookie and see if I can mount this into your frame. Ooh, it almost fits. I wonder if it would fit in my size. I wonder if it'll fit in my mouth. Oh, let me dip it in there, get a little more water on there. Kids at home, if you're watching this, do not dip your cookie into machinery. Let me remind you, I'm a trained professional, and do not try this at home. Always let a professional do this. Don't I look professional? <laughs> that tastes professional. Mmm, I might have to eat me another one. See what I have to snack on here? Because I'm hungry. And I can't go home yet. I got more pears to cut. And stay tuned for the next video because someone has sent me a vintage. Check this one out. This is the Wayfarer 2 with spring hinges. They haven't put that on a frame, a Wayfarer frame in 20 years. And it goes by the model number of RAP1212. I personally have never seen one of these but I'll be working on it next. Somebody wants a bifocal lens put in there and I'm just the guy to do it for them. 
Yes, yeah, so those are my peanuts and this is my water that I'll be drinking. <coughs> that life-giving water. Okay, so let's dry your lens off again. Back to the handstone, back to the safety bevel. Back to scraping that off your lens. Back to collecting it in one pile on the counter. What's going to happen next? What's going to happen next? Take my squirt bottle and squirt it off. How's that? <laughs> yes, all this in drug free, which is sad. Okay. Tuck it in the outside corner, push down at the nose. It snaps in. Let me do the same thing with the left lens. Flip that over to the left and hit start. Just like before, the calipers are going to come down. It's going to trace the shape of the left side of the frame. The left side. To see if it is large enough. And it is. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. This is going to work. In the short term, I'm going to put your left lens in so it doesn't get lonely sitting over there by itself. You know, that's a good look. One sun lens and one clear lens. Be the first on your block to wear them that way. Hey, Lisa Left Eye from TLC, she made a career doing that. You can be next. That's how you know it's real. You can hear that sound. I know what you're thinking, Elmo. You want your money back. <laughs> Don't go nowhere. All right, so let's take this block off. Let's read the prescription of the left eye. Let me dry everything off here. I still got the red dot right there. Spin the axis wheel back to 20. Read the prescription. Yeah, that's close enough. You'll never know. You're 3,000 miles away from me. How angry can you get at me if these aren't made right? You do know I'm kidding. I take my work very seriously. I would never ever send a pair of lenses that are correct. <laughs> Elmo, I know you're thinking, what is up with this guy? You never see me be silly. But since you've been subscribing to my channel, you've watched a lot of videos, comment on, you've been waiting for me to have the website up. And I can't believe it. This is a historic day. It's, it's August 7th. And I believe, I believe the website, this long-awaited website, will be finished either today or tomorrow. At least that's what the guy who I paid $8,000 cash to told me. I think I can believe him because he's been saying that every day for two or three months straight now. Whatever you do, don't hire a friend and pay him cash to do a website. And then don't ask for a contract. Which is what happened. So I thank everyone who's been patient while the new website is being built. I'm now up to about 250 videos. That's 250 pairs of glasses that I've sold to people without having a website. They just email me and say, hey, what's up? Can I get this? I'm like, yo, 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 yeah. Actually, I'm a little more professional until I get the money. Elmo will vouch for that. I've been very precise, answering every email very diligently, very politely. I don't know what it is about tonight. I think I'm just giddy that the website's finally going to be finished. And today is Thursday. Come next Monday. Tomorrow is my last day with the doors open. I do have to come in and cut some lenses on Saturday or Sunday from people who have ordered and is coming in. But I'm taking next week off to go to Maine on vacation. It will be the 11th day of the 8th month before I get a day off this year. This will be my first day off. I promised my wife last year that I would take her to Maine in August. So that's the only reason. See, honey, or else I'd keep working. Trust me, you see how overworked I am. You see my attitude tonight. Don't I need a, a, a break away from this place? All right, so what am I going to do this time? What am I going to do this time to get rid of the stuff? I'm going to have to one-up myself. So I'm scraping this off, get it all on the counter. What can I do? What can I do? I'm out of ideas. I am out of ideas. What can I do? What can I do? Okay, you ready for this? You ready? I'm going to get it right near the edge, then I'm going to leave it there. Oh, you didn't see that one coming. 
All right, so I'm gonna tuck your left lens in on this side, push down, and it snaps in. Let me test it by pushing down on it, torquing it back. We're good, we're good to go. So let me go ahead and take this block off. Let me put, dry the lens off, get the moisture so it doesn't affect the reading. Spin the axis wheel back to 175. Put it in over that red dot. Perfect, minus 250. Minus one, I'm getting 350. Your PD is 65. I'm gonna put the zero on my thumb over there. And with the left, I can't see what you're seeing. Hopefully you're seeing 65 millimeters. That is made correctly. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? Wee. Your glasses are contributing to my dirty floor. So, let me use my recycled piece of tissue and clean your lenses off. Get the right and the left. Dry everything off and I'm gonna get these in the mail to you tonight. So Elmo, thanks again for buying one set of frame and two pair of lenses. You just pop them in and out depending on what you need to do. If anyone has any questions, just email me at freeprescriptionlenses at gmail.com. I promise I'll be very professional in emails until you pay me money and then I'll just get silly. So, Elmo, I hope you really enjoyed from the bottom of my heart. I do thank you for being patient for with me while the website's been under construction. I do thank you for purchasing the frame and the two sets of lenses. I hope you can tell that I love what I do and it, it shows in the work that I do, but I'm very sincere that I appreciate everything you've done to help me accomplish my American dream. I'll get these out to you as quick as I can. And hopefully when I wasn't being silly, everyone got the chance to see how I bring that love and feeling back to glasses. Thank you.